if your mechanic tells you you need new brakes, have them show you the thickness of the brake pads as well as the rotors. The brake pads on a 2019 Camry are about 10 millimeters thick when new. These I measured at six millimeters thick on both sides. The rotors also have the minimum thickness on the inside. So have them show you that with, again, a tool something like this or a gauge that can actually measure because you might be saving yourself about a thousand bucks. I hate that some mechanics will do this. It gives everybody else that's doing a good job a bad name, but these days people need extra work, so be cautious before you just sign off on a lot of expensive maintenance. Here are some step-by-step -step instructions. In the meantime, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Break the lug nuts loose on the wheel with a 21 millimeter socket. Jack up the car. Place the jack stand so you don't right, kill so yourself. We have jacked up the car. We've got a jack stand under the frame of the car. We're going to remove this 14 millimeter bolt right here, brake line bracket. And then we're going to take out the top caliper bracket bolt, which is a 17 millimeter, and loosen the bottom one, which is, of course, the same. 17 millimeter, and then we can pivot this caliper off. All right, so I'm gonna use two wrenches here of a similar size to create a poor man's breaker bar. Watch out when you do this. Don't use your favorite wrenches and don't let it slip. You can hurt yourself. Now we can slide the caliper back and have access to, uh, but of course I have to remove the brake line bolt right here, which I forgot, and that's a 14 millimeter. Go ahead and take that off. And now we can measure the brake pad thickness right here, which on this side, is 6.72 millimeters. That is totally fine. That's more than half of that brake pad thickness. And the other side is 5.99 millimeters. So we're, we got plenty of life left here. All right, so we're checking the other side here. We've got our calipers and we are right at five millimeters right here, which is about half the pad life. Measure the other side. 5 point, well, 5.5, 5 millimeters is close enough. So 5 millimeters on this side, 6 millimeters on the other side. All right, so we know our pads are good. The one thing you want to do before you put your wheel back on is you want to go ahead and clean this surface because the uh, this will corrode a little bit, and if you have sand or debris stuck on it and you torque that wheel back on, you're going to mar it, and you're also potentially going to be torquing your wheel back on slightly, very, very slightly crooked, but it's best to try to clean this before you put your wheel back on. Second thing that I like to do is go ahead and clean the barrel of the wheel. Clean this part because brake dust buildup causes corrosion of the finish on the alloy. So you don't want to do that. You don't have that. And the other thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of grease, wipe this down, and take a little bit of grease. This is just a nice high temperature grease. Just put a tiny bit on all these surfaces. This just keeps the wheel from sticking to the uh, hub. You want to take it off later. And the grease will still compress out of the way as you torque it down. It just keeps rust and other stuff from entering in. Like and subscribe and share. Comment below if you guys have any questions. Thanks. All right. The rotor. Oh boy. No way. Is the rotor held on by a spindle nut? No way. No. Oh, that's crazy stupid. Oh. Okay. So I'm not going to take the rotor off because it is attached to the end of the drive shaft with this this spindle nut right here on the end of the drive shaft. That is a really weird engineering decision. 
because these are torqued at about 150 foot-pounds or more. Depends on your car. And they're crimped right there. So you can't really get this off without having to replace this nut. I mean, really, you shouldn't, but this is crazy.